Okay, let's do it. The beef continues. Floyd Schofield, do do do. He takes shots at Shakur Stevenson. Let me jump right into the mix. Roll the clip. Do you want to fight? Uh, like I said, I got to get through Renee first. You know, Renee's the first step. But, you know, Shakur, you do a little too much talking with them fingers. So I'll see you soon. Shakur Stevenson, that's the one you want? Oh, yeah. For sure. You're soft. Why do you say you're soft? Because he typed too much. He do too much typing. Don't do enough fighting. Like, Who do you want to Wow. So the DAZN cameras asked Floyd Schofield, who has an upcoming fight with Yeron on the Golden Boy car. They asked him, who do you want to fight? He told you straight up. He said, Renee's the first step, meaning I got to get past my scheduled opponent. And after that, you know, I want to fight Shakur Stevenson. He's talking too much. He's bumping too much gums. He got them Twitter fingers. That's basically what he's saying. He said, I will see you soon. Shakur Stevenson is soft, says Floyd Schofield. Wow. Now, Shakur Stevenson has responded. I will pull it up. Make sure you guys, if you like content like this, subscribe to the channel. I cover boxing. It's been that way. Best in the business. And it's not even close. So Shakur Stevenson did take to his social media and he says, hopefully little kid Austin, a.k.a. Floyd Schofield, got to he says he don't got to deal with the Shakur curse. They scream my name, then go out there and get knocked out or have a bad performance. LOL. Schofield Senior says you have haven't fought nobody with those brittle hands. Stop tweeting and fight. Wow. Now, I got to be real. Ego thoughts. I'm always transparent, always real on my channel. I have no idea what Shakur Stevenson is talking about. He says, hope little kid Austin, he tried to little boy him, don't get knocked out because basically fighters who scream my name go and get knocked out or have a uh, itty performance, S-H-I-T-T-Y, right? And he named it the Shakur curse. Who has this curse affected? Like on my channel, I coined the DAZN curse. So if you know what I'm talking about, the reason I have the DAZN curse is because they had mishap after mishap. Said pay-per-view was dead. Then they had a charge pay-per-view. They had Canelo, lost Canelo. You know, they waited too long for Canelo versus Triple G. They have fights that kept falling apart, like Joshua and Gerald, Big Baby Miller, and then AJ got upset on the fight card with Andy Ruiz, et cetera. So that's why I said the DAZN curse, because they were in a short period of time, they had a lot of like bloopers. People also say the Mayweather curse, the Mayweather curse, the tank curse, because people who talk crazy about Mayweather and tank it usually don't work out well for him. Like Teofimo will talk bad about Tank and then he loses to George Cambosis, right? Or you've heard people say the Drake curse. Drake, he'll be seen with UFC fighters, Conor McGregor, and then McGregor loses to Habib Nurmagomedov and so on and so forth. I have no idea what Shakur is talking about when he says the Shakur curse. Name a person who talked greasy to Shakur and then they met their maker. What is he talking about? Who 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 does this affect? That's all I'm trying to 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 the point where you say it's the Shakur curse. This is like sounds like you're trying to be like Mayweather and Tank, who have I know I've said the Tank curse, but there's a pattern. Devin Haney, Devin Haney talked all this stuff about Tank and his dad. Bill Haney was like the Mayweather era is over. Tank Davis era is over. And then they're very. This was after the Regis Progray fight. Their very next fight was the Ryan Garcia fight, and he gets battered and dropped several times, right? He says, keep staying on the path. I don't mind teaching you to never disrespect the teacher. Floyd Schofield said, we look forward to learning from you. Now let's share the ring, chicken. So Floyd Schofield, he, you know, he's, it's whatever with them ninjas on the other side we got problems with. We could never really put aside. I don't know if that's song lyrics or what. So the two are going back and forth. Again, 
I don't know what Shakur is talking about saying the Shakur curse. Who is that affected? Name one fighter who was talking about Shakur and then they put up a bad performance or got knocked out to the point where you coined. Like, and the other thing is, I feel like when it's something like a curse, you got to let someone like me, a media person or the fans anoint that and say like, oh, the Mayweather curse, the Gervonta. Shakur came out with his own curse. That just seems weird. But I digress. Whatever. It's a good fight. I would like to see the fight. Floyd Schofield got to do his thing versus Euron. I have seen Euron live. He fought against uh, Carlos Balderas, who was an Olympian. I was at the fight in Ontario, California, and he knocked out and upset Balderas. So this should be a good fight. Now, I will say Balderas and Schofield, they don't fight alike. So that's not an indication of how the Schofield fight will go because Schofield, again, doesn't fight like Balderas. And I know people in this industry, Balderas has discipline issues, and I don't think that's the case for Schofield. So completely different fight, but still tough test from Mexico, I believe he's from, and he got to get past that and look good because if you don't, then who's going to want to see the Shakur Stevenson fight? As of me recording the video before the fight, it's a good fight. But again, that stuff can be altered, the perception of it, Based on your last, what have you done for me lately? Like Devin Haney, some people want to see the tank fight, but then after he gets hurt and dropped a thousand times versus Ryan Garcia with the left hook, you hear that calm down. Less people are saying, I demand that fight because I think people now kind of realize how that fight would go with Devin and tank. So Schofield is doing a lot of trash talking. His dad does a lot of trash talking. He's going to have to live up to it. Shakur has lived up to his end of the bargain of just winning and continuing to win. And he's been doing it longer than Schofield has been around, you know? So that's it. You know, I think it's a good fight. Some people have likened Schofield's style to a Sean Porter. I would like to see that specifically because, like I said, some people have compared him to like a, a lightweight Sean Porter, Schofield. He's very rugged. He has power. He's explosive he sparred with Shakur sparred with these top names and I want to see someone who has that Sean Porter style versus a guy like Shakur to see what we get because some people have complained Shakur's fights aren't scintillating and enough energy and things like that I want to see how he deals with somebody who's rugged and stupid aggressive and and not and I don't say that in the insult I don't mean stupid that's just my slang coming from NorCal you know, in the Bay Area. But what I mean is just like someone who's consistently aggressive, but tries to do it in a smart way, not like just some plotting. There's some athleticism, some timing involved, things like that. And we've seen how Shakur looked with Edwin De Los Santos. So against a young explosive guy, I want to see how Shakur fights, what adjustments are made. And, you know, it would be a, clearly a step up for Schofield's resume. He's with Golden Boy Shakur, I believe, has a two-fight deal with Eddie Hearn. We'll see what plays out for more boxing. Subscribe. Let me know who wins. If they were to fight next, Shakur Schofield. Drop it.